dear students in this small video we are going to calculate moment of inertia of a rod of length l and mass m about an axis perpendicular to the length of the rod and passing through one of its ends okay we will draw a corresponding diagram say we have got a rod okay we have got a rod length of this rod is l length of this rod is l we have to calculate moment of inertia of this rod about an axis perpendicular to the rod okay and it should pass through one of the ends of the rod okay so here we have to calculate moment of inertia okay mass of the rod is given that mass of the rod is uh, m okay say i call this end as 0 this end as l so total length is l to calculate what we have to do first we will calculate first we will consider a small mass okay we will consider a small mass dm okay and uh, the thickness of that small mass let it be tx dx is the thickness so we will calculate that small mom moment of inertia of that small mass small moment of inertia di is equal to dm into and let say this uh, dm okay is at a distance x from the center dm is at a distance x so we know the definition of uh, moment of inertia i is equal to mr square so if i use this equation okay that small moment of inertia is equal to small mass into x square i can write now what is uh, dm i'll i'll make that uh, calculation what is dm okay mass of that small portion tm okay is equal to mass per unit length of the rod okay mass per unit length and its length length of that small dm is dx okay so this is dm so what happens i'll write here di okay is equal to dm dm means m by l into dx okay this is dm into x square now i have to calculate total uh, moment of inertia okay that total moment of inertia is equal to integration of di okay i should add all the small moment of inertia okay from 0 to l from 0 to l okay so therefore the limit should be between 0 and l so that is equal to integration of m by l okay into x square into dx between the limits 0 and l so therefore what i can do next step i is equal to m and l are uh, constants okay m by l m by l into x square what is integration of x square so we know that integration of x power n with respect to x is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 if i if i use this formula what i get is x power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 3 okay between the limits 0 and l now what i'll do first apply i'll apply the upper limit so yeah, i will be equal to m by l into okay upper limit l cube by 3 l cube by 3 minus since lower limit is 0 completely it will be 0 and here 1 1 l and l gets cancelled so 1 l gets cancelled here so i am left with i am left with i is equal to m l square i is equal to m l square by 3 so this is the moment of inertia of a rod okay about an axis perpendicular to the rod and passing through one of the ends of the rod so the final answer is i is equal to ml squared by 3 thank you.